Hi everybody, welcome to True Wants. We're here, we try to help you make that decision if it's gonna stay a true want or become a true need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that's right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also a bell beside that subscribe button and if you press it and I recommend that you do, it is called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will send you one email notifying you that I just uploaded a brand new video. You will see in your inbox the picture and the title of the video. And if you press on the picture, it acts like a shortcut and it takes you directly to the video. It's something I use and I enjoy and I wanna make sure that you guys know about it as well. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive, so I wanna make sure that you guys don't miss out. So if you press that notification bell, you will not miss out. Today is a day that I'm gonna be sharing with you. I'm really, really excited. It is some free products that I got from Ipsy based on the reviews and point system on Ipsy. If you're not familiar with Ipsy, and it's always where I tell everybody to start because for a $12 monthly bag where you get usually a full size product in there, but you do get the sample sizes, you do have access to everything else Ipsy. That means the shopper, which every day at 9 a.m. they have some products that they put into bundles or one product at a really great reduced price. They always have fantastic kits and everything. So for me, that was where I started and I got to enjoy a lot of products from the shopper before the plus boxes were available and the ultimate. Now with the plus and the ultimate, I get a lot of my products that way. Uh, if there is a, some mystery bag, once in a while I might try if something is written in the description that intrigues me. But with the shopper, you get to see every item that's going to be in there and what the price is, and they're fantastic. But today we're here to talk about the points program. The points program, you get to review your products. And every time you review your products, you get points. With these points, you then are able to shop and redeem your points for products. So what I didn't know was I ended up doing it right after... Um, last month or the month before and it took the cycle until the box was coming for it to show up in this box so what I've learned and what I'm going to recommend is right after you receive your box before the next month try to get your reviews in usually around the third week is when I'm able to have tried majority of the products that I want to write a review on because the reviews whatever you write in the reviews they look at what I mean by that is it's similar to your beauty profile. So if you say you loved something to do the review and you gave it five stars and you never used it, it might show up a similar product to that in a future bag. So be very honest with your reviews because they do use it. It's very similar to your beauty profile. All right. So the uh, majority of the points are $600, $600, 600 points for um, deluxe size samples and then the um, full size are usually around 1800 points. So I let my points accumulate so that I can have a, a bank of points for the full size products. So I usually, um, what usually intrigues me are the 1800 points because those are the full size products. I am so excited that I was able to get in on a couple and I always try to go in whenever I remember but especially around 9 a.m. to check to see what's in the shopper and things like that. So I should be going in more often in reference to where the points are, but I know that my points aren't enough right now for that $1,800 next product. So I'm hoping that after I do the reviews this month, then I will have enough for the reviews uh, to do something in a purchase if there's something available, because there isn't always something that intrigues me. Ironically, last month there were two and uh one is an eyeshadow palette which i'm going to show you and i'm going to swatch but i'm going to start off with the one that for me is a replenish item this is a product it's from it cosmetics and if you're familiar with my channel at all i got introduced to it cosmetics on qvc and i was sold on it because from the day she started with her uh, first product that she brought to QVC, which was in a tube. It was the a Cosmetic Bye Bye Under Eye. It was a really, really thick concealer that you can use for makeup, uh, foundation, concealer, 
And this tube will last you for your lifetime because you use so little of it, it's fantastic. And ever since then with QVC, they always had bundles on QVC and they gave the brushes usually with the bundles. And I think I own every brush from It Cosmetics as well because I think they do some of the most fantastic brushes. But with that said, they're very expensive. So I always get them when they're on QVC because they usually include them in the kit. And their br brushes can run it up to like $50 a brush. But I really, really enjoy their line. So when I was able to replenish my cleanser, uh, the, from in cosmetics their confidence in a cleanser and they have a whole line of this I, I have confidence in the neck cream and their face cream and their eye cream They have a whole line of uh, it cosmetics in reference that it's called confidence in a cream. This is a really nice cleanser uh, I like it to use it in the morning. It's not one that I use to take off my makeup and all that It's one that I really choose like a luxury first thing in the morning. It is gentle for all skin types It's a skin transforming hydrating cleansing serum it's an anti-aging armor rejuven rejuvenating concentrate. You need very little of this. This usually lasts me a long time. I was able to get this for the 1800 points. But if you're looking even to get gifts for people, it comes in the full retail box, including the uh, the product with all the instructions, like as if you bought it full retail. Nothing's crossed out or anything. It's, it's really, really a luxury. So I was able to snap that and I was happy with the 1800 points. And then one day I went in and I never got this in any of my boxes and I watched a couple of unboxings and a couple of girls were showing this palette and I fell in love with it. I have the large Violet Boss uh, Holy Grail that I got on my own that I paid full retail for a couple of years ago and I got a smaller one, uh, the Holy Grail, that I use all the time and I travel with uh in 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 a size that they call their fun shape which to me is a perfect perfect it, it has enough in here the holy grail is a really really big palette this one is is the perfect size to keep and use every single day as well as uh in your arsenal and it's the holy grail actually i'm probably going to do a video comparing this one to that one that i use all the time so this one here is called uh, berry burst it's called the fun size eyeshadow palette that's what the box looks like. Those are the colors uh, that are in here. And uh, I am so excited to open this. I haven't even opened this yet to take a look. This is uh, what it looks like here. That's what the outside looks here. And if it's similar to my mini one, yeah, it's a full mirror in here. It comes with the safety shield. I'm just going to put the box on top here so you guys can see. That's what it looks like here. And now I'm just going to swatch them so we can see the colors together. It's a mixture of mattes and uh, satin shimmers. So it's nothing like glitters or anything like that. They're usually really good. I like the uh, Violet Voss um, uh, formula. Uh, I'm telling you that small fun size one is one that I always take with me on my trips. It's standard colors. It's got a little dark, a little warm, but it has a lot of similar colors that are in here. And that's why I want to do a side by side. I'm going to have to uh, take it out of my travel bag uh, and and uh, and do a separate video on that. So let me just do some quick swatches on this so you guys can see. This was also uh, an 1800 point. Uh, and like I said, I was shocked that this was in my ultimate box, which was the first box that I received uh, in the month of May. All right, so let's do some. There's no uh, names on this at all, uh, as you can see here, and there's no names on the back which is very surprising, but it is what it is. So for me to show them to you, I'm just gonna go in the order here from uh, the top and then the bottom. So we're just gonna do it like this. I can't give you any cute names. That's what that is here. And I'm just gonna swatch them on my hand here. And that's the first four. So the lightest one that's down here, you're not gonna see that well because it is, um, the same color as my skin and then I'm gonna take the deepest shade uh, you know what yeah I'll take the bottom I'll do these last two last so I'm gonna do the bottom four which look like that yeah it's a beautiful beautiful palette the pink one is not coming out as nice so I'm gonna do a second swatch on that but because this is a color that I use all the time in their other palette and uh, yeah it's beautiful and they build up 
so nicely. It's not a lot of fallout. Like I said, uh, I find the Violet Voss uh, palette to be absolutely fantastic. And let's see what we have here. And then we have the uh, the top darkest brown and then the other burgundy, which is up there. And I'm just going to do them on top here. And that's what it looks like there. So I am so, so impressed with this. Like I said, I saw one girl unbox this and I fell in love with it. Uh, I didn't see anybody swatch it. I don't know why when people get palettes they don't swatch because when I go on YouTube it's to see what the swatches look like and what the palettes look like. So I want to make sure that I swatch everything for you guys. Just so you know also, uh, I watched a couple of makeup artists and stuff and I know a lot of people now are always concerned about, you know, the germs and your hands being clean and all of that. A good way to clean your eyeshadow palette, this is a 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol. It's an inexpensive thing to buy. You can get it in uh, the, these little container stores or, or even like a dollar store where they have these spritz bottles inside. And then I put that in one of those spritz bottles and I saw and I watched uh, years ago, um, Wayne Goss, I think his name is, and he says, because he's a makeup artist, they can't use a palette once and then not use it on another client. So how he said he cleans in between clients is exactly with this. He takes a product like this, puts it in a spray bottle, sprays it down. It literally dries within seconds, if not minutes. And so if, you know, I have a friend who's coming over and she wants to use my makeup or whatever, that's what I do. I take it, I spritz it, and I do it. So. If I have some palettes, you know, that, that I use and I swatch for you guys, it's something I'm contemplating too. It, right now it, it goes into a pile where it goes to friends and family and things like that. But I think that if I spritz it and I, um, I sterilize it and there are some palettes that I have in an area that once I've swatched it, because I want to make sure that this channel is for what this channel was what I wanted to do. I wanted to share. I wanted to give you my knowledge of what I had in reference to the products that I used. I want to share with you the products that I think we're getting great deals on. I want to share with you the colors. But I know a lot of girls do a lot, a lot of giveaways on their channels and they say, oh, I'm not going to swatch this. It's going to go into a giveaway. I want to make sure that I can show this to everybody because in giveaways, only one person. So if you have you know, hundreds of people watching your channel, only one person is going to get to enjoy it. This way, everyone gets to see what the palette is all about. And to me, if, if I can spray it and, and then, you know, use the ones that I've swatched that I don't give to others, I'd love to know your comments down below how you feel about that. But like I said, for my own family and my own friends, that's how I sterilize it uh, to make sure that, you know, whatever with my fingers are, you know, cleaned in between each one. I try to make sure that everything is sterile. But like I said, to, an extra safety that I do is this. Also, if a palette hasn't been used in a long time, I do that. So, like I said, if you watch other channels of makeup artists, that's what they say that they do that they use in between clients. So, I'd love to know your feedback down below, how you feel about that. If I was to do a bunch of giveaways with products that I've swatched, but, uh, you know, they're just sitting and they're not getting used. So, instead of them expiring, I'd love to be able to have the opportunity to, to give them to you. I know some girls sell their products and things like that. Whatever your suggestions are, I'd love to know your feedback on that. But um, right now, that's what I'm doing, and I just would love to know what your thoughts are on Because for me, I'm very comfortable spraying it, sterilizing it, because that's what all the makeup artists do. And I want to make sure that they don't go to waste and they don't expire, because I just finished a massive, massive cleanup. And a lot of it went, you know, to, to friends and family and, and acquaintances and things like that. And then a lot of it, if it was stuff that I felt was, you know, around too long, you know, went into the garbage and then I have a donation pile and things like that. So I just want to make sure that I get your feedback on that because I just would love to know what your, your mindset is in reference to that, especially within this climate now where we're all being so overly, you know, washing our hands and masks. And, you know, I'm still in lockdown in, in the state of Florida. We're, we're in an area where this part of Florida is still on lockdown and they're not seeing us getting out anytime soon. So I'm getting an opportunity to watch a couple of other videos and especially I'm looking always at things of how to sterilize things, even just for myself to make sure that I'm not transferring stuff. But especially when I, you know, like to enjoy with 
you know, my friends, my family, my my cousins, things like that. I, I just want to make sure that I can I can you know share, and I would love to know what your feedback is on that. Anyways, that's where my thoughts are right now. Fantastic palette. Please, I'm going to do another one where I'm going to compare the two. Uh, of the Violet Boss uh, that's in this size of the Holy Grail against the Berry Burst. So if you already have that one, will you need this one? That type of thing. So I'll do that uh, video uh, in the future and then uh, keep your eyes open for that one. All right. Okay. That's it for now. Thank you so much for everybody for taking your time out of your day to spend with me. Please leave me a thumbs up if you're enjoying my content. It's very important for you guys to do that for me. It's right underneath the video. Uh, there's a little thumbs up there. If you can press on that, if you're enjoying my content, I would really appreciate it. Supposedly, YouTube tells us that if you guys do that for us, our videos will go on other people's platforms that have not met me, but they watch videos like mine. So hopefully uh, you guys will do that for me. And like I said, please don't forget to leave a comment down below on what your feelings are on that. And if you already have this palette or this It Cosmetics, I would love to know what your thoughts are in, in reference to this. And if you love it as much as I do, or if you don't, I just would love to know. And uh, everyone reads the comments. It's uh, our community with True Wants. So make sure that you make sure to leave a comment down there below. Also, please share my channel. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I really hope you do. Like I said, it's easy as that red button that's right underneath this video. It's free. Once it turns gray, you're in. All right, everybody stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.